I am a clinical community health worker. The iHeart program is a free program to the patients to help monitor and manage their blood pressure. Hello. How are you? I'm good. It's good. I'm Christina. The doctor refers you to me to explain the program. It comes with a free blood pressure monitor where I ask you to at least check it once a day and check in with me at least three times a week. And then through the week, ask you, hey, input a number. What was your reading today? If it's high, I get in contact with you and I converse with the pharmacist or the MD to advise further. If you have high blood pressure, it's uncontrolled, you are qualified for the program. Also, if you need help in the community, as far as food insecurities, lack of transportation, discounts for medication, childcare, anything along that line. If you need support getting that, I'm here to also help. Say I'm in the clinic, we'll start there, and a patient, I meet with them for the iHeart program, and I ask, it's always the question, do you need any support with any community resources? And I give a list, and they say, oh, I need transportation. Okay, so we use the Find Help which is our go-to resource. And it already goes through the zip code. But of course you go past the zip code and any extra resources. Hey, do you need this? I need help with food. All right, well, let's get this. I have at least a good 10 resources for you for food. And we can call some now if you want to. Being a certified medical assistant first, uh, it was a patient that had a caregiver and now she's actually a patient. And when I say it kind of broke me to see her because she was like, well, I don't have anywhere to live. I'm staying with my daughter. Okay. And then talking to her is, well, I need a phone. All right. Well, I need transportation. Okay. I need food. I got you. All of those have been met. Every single one has been met. When I say she calls me twice a week, just to talk, just to conversate, and say thank you, I love it. I, that does something for me. That touches my heart. And without stories like hers is why I do this.